Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 983. My name is Christine and on today's episode, I'm showing you three ways to use the We Are Memory Keepers Chevron Washi Tape. Today I am showing you the We Are Memory Keepers Chevron Washi Tape. I have a few colors here, but it comes in a lot more colors. I'm just gonna show you a few ways you can use this tape. On this first base of a card here, I had um, inked the background in the red. So then I decided to use it to put the red uh, washi tape on. And this just gives you that subtle tone on tone pattern. And I did it over the entire background. And then you can continue and layer more things on top of it. Then on this card, because this washi tape is paper backed, it's not just on the roll. Um, I was able to stamp it using the archival ink with a small little script stamp. So you could stamp any pattern you want. You don't have to stamp it in black. You can stamp a color on top of a different color. And so you can make your own patterned tape really easily because of the paper back. It's really simple to do. And then I just put three of the, um, the stripes across the bottom of the card and then you could continue on and work from there. And then the other great thing about all washi tape is that it is a low tack tape, so it's easy to come off. And so what I've done is I used the tape actually as a mask and then I painted in between the tape. So you can see how here I layered the tape. And then on this card, I did the same thing but I just put it closer together so I have small little chevrons working up to a larger chevron. So I'm going to show you how to use the tape as a mask. So I have this background here that I had previously sprayed. And I just bend the bottom and peel off the tape. And then sort of eyeball where I want it. And I like to make it a little longer. So I sort of tape it to my working surface and that way it holds it in place. And I cut a, um, just a variety of colors here to use. I think you get about 26 feet in a roll of this tape. So you have a lot of tape to work with. So using some as a mask won't really affect how much tape you have. So now you want to decide how big you want that chevron. I'm going to do it something like that. And you're just going to continue working down until all your tape is in place. When I go to do this one now, I'm going to make it a little larger. And I will show you one more. So now I want a, even a little bit more, a little bit wider. So I'm gradually building to bigger chevrons. So I'm going to continue on building up my card. So I have finished putting the tape down my card and you can see along the bottom here, I just put one extra piece and that's just to get those extra little points in there. And I'm going to do the same across the top. So on the top, I'm going to try and get it quite sort of close. Like 
that. So now I've decided I'm going to use Prism Violet Paint. So I'm going to put some on my palette paper. And I'm using a sponge for this. And then I'm going to sponge over through the masks. Now I'm going to use one color of paint for the whole thing, but you could always do different paints, make like an ombre effect. That other time I used black paint, this time I'm using color. more paint. Okay, and then while your paint is still wet, you can start to peel off. Oops, it's not good. So I had a little bit of ripping there, which you don't really want to happen. Hold on, like. Let's see what happens here. I had done the base of this with, um, it was with sprays. And so what I think is happening is the spray part is getting wet. And that's what's making the paper rip a bit. If you use like acrylic as your base, um, if it gets wet, it doesn't matter so much. It won't re-activate. Um, so you probably won't get that ripping. But if you do get a rip like that, then when you go to do your next layer, you can just cover it up with something. But otherwise, you can see how we're getting these great chevrons uh, the tape does a good job masking off the area. off this last couple. Yep. 
Okay, so you can see here on the one we did today, we got a bit of ripping, whereas the one I did the other day, I only had like in the corner in that. So it depends on the wetness, I guess, of um, if you put extra paint or that down, maybe it will wet it a bit. So you just have to be careful about that. But on the other hand, you can see what a great look it is. I think it makes a really cool background with the different uh, gradation of the chevron. And um, you can have fun playing with the Chevron washi tape from We Are Memory Keepers and trying out different ways to use it. And when you shop at We Are Memory Keepers, you can receive 20% off your order when you use the promo code SCRAPTIME. And that includes these great tapes, the Lifestyle Craft dies, their tools, anything you buy at shopwear.com. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Chameleon Color Tone Pens. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.